Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me. It's a little bit windy out here, but I wanted to quickly show you my kind of temporary watering system that I use every once in a while, a rain barrel watering system. So here's a look at it real quick. So how this works is, I'll turn this off for a second. So how this works is I have this uh, one horsepower pump here. I got this at Lowe's. I can't remember exactly how expensive it is. I think it's just a little bit over $100. And then normally I also put a T on here and I run two hoses off of it. But today I just hooked up this one quickly to show you what I'm doing. And then on the end of here, this hose here that I have is a suction hose so it doesn't collapse. And then down here, I just kind of rigged up a little thing so that it, in case it goes to the bottom, it doesn't uh, pick up a bunch of junk down there. But there's a stop valve in there. And then this thing just goes down into the water. And obviously we pump out the water onto the yard. So just follow this around here real quick. Got my sprinkler out here, watering the yard a little bit after I put down some fertilizer, and yeah, that's the setup. So we mainly use this actually for my wife's garden in the summer. Um, this thing actually fills up pretty quickly. This is this is a 250-gallon tank. We actually got this from a friend of ours, but usually places like fertilizer plants or agricultural places will usually have these and sometimes they will sell them. Sometimes you can get them for free. I think he got two of these for a very small amount of money. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, so this holds 250 gallons. It doesn't really take that long to fill up and then we just use it in our garden and on the yard. My pump puts out about I think it said it can put out 12 gallons per minute. Obviously with a sprinkler hooked up to it, we're kind of taking the water down to a smaller uh, amount there and spraying it out so it's not taking out that much. But I had it running for a short amount of time here and it does, it does take the water pretty quickly. So it's not enough to do a whole yard all the time, but here and there, it's a good idea. We're also supposed to have some rain tonight. So I wanted to go ahead and empty this a little bit so that we can fill it back up. Now the nice thing about it also is that as it fills up our cap that's on top we just don't put it down completely tight we kind of put it on a little bit with a, a gap there and then the water can run out as it overfills and it just it's slanted down this way so that it runs down onto our yard anyway. Then down on the bottom it's just hooked up with a a little spigot there and a valve so that you can open it and we fill buckets off of that. So I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, uh, please just let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.